Hey there, hi there, it's Council Kev. Welcome to another episode of Friend of Me Fire. I thought this episode was going to be a short one, but uh, it turns out it was normal length because me and Aaron bullshit for more time than we need to, but that's how these podcasts go. Um, but I thought it was going to be a short one because I never wanted this to be like a podcast with filler news gaming stuff that we don't care about. So when I say there's a slow news day, uh, it's like because it's news like there's not a lot of news that me and Aaron care about. We could have talked about like GameStop stock prices, but do you really care? Do you really care if GameStop goes in business or out of business? You know, we don't want to waste your time with that. So anyway, we had a good amount of time messing around in the show and just having a good time. Uh, we talk about our new game that we lost last episode because the episode broke, but whatever. Uh, we're basing pretty much basically guessing uh, Metacritic scores in games. Uh, and we have a fake little title belt that we're going to pass back and forth. That's the thing we're going to do. Uh, but beyond that, we talk about uh, the PS5 licensed solid state drives. They're expensive. Ow. Uh, a beta fish somehow discovered a glitch in Pokemon Sapphire nobody has before. That's weird. Uh, Minecraft guy in Smash because, again, we talked about it last episode, but we lost it. And Aaron has some very passionate thoughts about that. And also, Aaron wants to know if he should get Game Pass. The answer is yes, but, you know, I try to swing them one way or the other. But before you get into the episode, I want to give a shout-out to our patrons. We have J.R. Judy. Thank you so much for your patronage. Matt Bleckinger, a top-tier patron. What a guy. Christopher Sullivan, another top-tier patron. You are the best Smack It Down podcast own. Viva La JD. Thank you for, you know, your patronage. You're pretty cool, I guess. I don't know. Twitch.tv slash one of John. He's actually streaming right now, so uh, he's going to be my background noise while I'm editing. Uh, so there's that. Thank you guys for your patronage. You make this possible, uh, and we love you. So enjoy the episode, and, uh, you know, let's go out for a steak dinner or something sometime. Or not. Whatever. It's whatever you're comfortable with, really. Okay, bye. I feel like this is going to be a short one, but like, we got to do what we got to do, bro. I mean, whatever. What was our goal? An hour to an hour and a half anyway? An hour. The goal's an hour. As long as we get over an hour. I like hour and a half. Like hour to, an hour just seems like too short. So, I disagree because most of the podcasts that I listen to on a consistent basis are between 45 minutes and an hour and 15 minutes. And they just fit so well for me. Like, I just really enjoy that length. Mine? Because like, I can sit down and listen to them if I want. They're a good length for like. A lot of different car rides. Mine is like an hour and a half to two hours is the ones I listen to. Like, I don't mm -hmm. know, man. It just feels too long to me. If you feel too long. Wink. Wink. I hope this episode there. also doesn't. Uh, Sexual. I also decided that uh, peanuts are the way to lose weight because nuts fill you up. Kev loves being filled up by nuts. We're going to go with that for the fucking starter. <laughs> just, I don't even want the peanut part to the... I just want right when you start singing. Like, that'll be it. <laughs> what Kevin. an entrance. That's freaking beautiful. Hi, Aaron. Hello, Cavante. I like... I like. See, the thing is, this whole 10 second thing throws me off because I like, I like to sh like mildly bullshitting before, and now I'm like, okay, just pretend we're all maybe, good. Maybe, maybe what we should do is, like, when we first got in Discord, get everything set up before really talking much oh. do the 10 seconds and then just do our bullshit fucking, well i'll do that next time but uh we out here okay. now i'm not we fucking restarting it now like there's no point we're, we're fucking why here. kev let's just restart it right this second what do i look like a fucking professional podcaster eat my ass oh fair you got me there there i just i'm just saying there was Have you no beat dragon quest yet that's the real question oh uh, okay so i guess we're jumping right into that so no i just need to know if you've beaten it yet no but let me let me tell oh you my you know God. what let me start out with oh I've been playing. Hold on, shut, God. shut the fuck up! Like no, no, twelve no. months, 
13? No, I started 27? in July. I started in July. Oh my, bro. That's like three months. Well, so the thing is, like, it's hard to play, like, It doesn't even take me that no, long no. to beat Persona. So here's the deal. Like, the thing is, it's on a handheld. And, like, when I get home and I have time to play stuff, I want to stream. Or I want to play, like... Stuff and I can't stream my 3DS, so like it's always on the back burner for me. I mean, you can. You can't stream 3DS easily. Easily, now, see you. You right. added an extra. I'm not gonna lie. I was talking about Static actually. Shout out to Static again. Every podcast, fucking, and I want to build like a cradle with a camera when we ever get our house and just oh, like, do one of those weird ones. Yeah, like I'll fucking do it. Do. Yeah, uh, do but, it. I dare you. Do so, it. Do it. I I don't know. I guess I'll start with Dragon Quest. So here's the deal. In you Dragon... can make it like a crane machine, so it's like Ooh. holding, and then like. You could zoom in and zoom Ooh. out. Seems like a lot of work just to stream fucking 3DS games. You'd love it. You'd I do would, it. I wouldn't do it. Anyway, so um, I was stuck on this one boss, and the, like I had all my characters were pretty good level on. for it. One more interruption before you oh, go. Oh, no, it. don't fucking do this to me. What? Go ahead. I'm being serious. Go ahead. This seems like this is going to be your episode of talking about how you're stuck on bosses a bunch. No, 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 no. it's not. Because I feel like you're gonna have to mention that with Nino. I'm pretty sure you were stuck. No, on no, 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 no. I, w- I wasn't actually. Okay. okay. I'm not. I was gonna write a time code down, but I guess it's just you shitting on me. So anyway, no. The the fucking boss in Dragon Quest I got to. His name was like Cumulus Vex, in which I went ha come. But beyond that, like child. I am a child. Beyond that, like the, this this fight just comes down to like too much fucking RNG. Like I got all my characters high leveled, and then. Essentially, like he'll he'll kill you off. Okay, fuck you, Aaron. I can't, I can't, <laughs> oh my, the fucking Elgato's up anyway, so everyone can fucking see that. Too. <laughs> so that's good. Uh, anyway, like this, so, this boss, like he'll just he has one thing he'll do. He either summon someone to help him, he'll do a normal attack, or he does like, one of two giant wind attacks that fuck your whole party up. It's either individual fuck up or fuck your whole party. So like I had to to grind and then i got to the point where i was grinding so much i was one hitting all the enemies around me so i was like i clearly can't, like am too strong to even grind here anymore and i did that for like a strong. week i did it for like a week dude like i was constantly like grinding grinding grinding. and this boss is rng bullshit so like i have an item <laughs> that was it, about it gives you yeah it gives you a mid heal and all my characters pretty much heal except one character and then two characters have a revive and the other one has a thing called, like, Song of Salvation, which will heal everybody in the party if they're dead. If it decides to let you. Because it's fucking RNG. So I was pretty much just hoping, like, will this revive work? Will this revive work? And it was just completely RNG. Like, rough. it was super rough. And when I did it, I fucking screamed last night. I was so excited. I did it. Tina smack you. No, she was, she was upstairs working. Uh, other thing, uh, going into like things that finally line into place, Aaron, uh, I'm going to rant on podcast. I don't give a fuck if they hear me at this point. Remember how I sent in my electrical license application? Yeah. And then they were like calling uh, right, you. Okay. Or, okay. You were, they called you during one after you called them a million times. Right. So in July, the last, I, I think it was before we started, but in July I sent out all my shit. I was ready to go. And yeah. then September we were doing this podcast. I think it was in evergreen. They called me in the middle of it. To tell mm-hmm. me it got lost in the mail. There's nothing we can do. Like, just send it all again. You got to do the payment again. Bullshit, bullshit. Bullshit, whatever. Fine. I fucking did it again, right? And I heard nothing. And I've been calling ever since that day, every day, to find out where the fuck's going on. So last night, when I got done streaming, I only did like a two and a half hour stream. Because I, I got home early from work because it was a typhoon outside. But I, like in the back of my mind, it kept bothering me. Like, you know, I got to call him. I got to call him. Fucking got off the stream. I was going to go f- till 5.30 when Tina was done working. And they finally picked up the phone at 5.30 after two hours of being on hold. I got <laughs> I got a hold of... I'm not going to say her name because, one, her name's hilarious and I'm a child. But I got a hold of this lady. And I was like... She's like, can I have your confirmation number or whatever? I was like, no, no. I don't have that because you guys keep losing my shit. You don't know where it is. I need answers now. And I need to sign up for a fucking test right now. So I gave her my info, my social. She's like... Oh, we have both the applications you sent in right here. What? I was like, what the fuck? When were you going to tell me? Send me one of my application fees back right there. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? You have them right here. So this whole fucking time they've had them. That's bullshit. Yeah, it's bullshit. So Are they sh- giving you a refund for one of them? Yeah, I think they are, but like... They better. I, th- I mean, I'm, uh, I mentally I'm at the point where I don't fucking care. Just register for this goddamn test. So hopefully... <laughs> 
I'll have an update Adding on that. more stress to a freaking test that you're already going to be stressed about. I'm already, I'm not telling anybody when I go. Even Tina, she was like, are you going to tell me when you go take your test? I'm like, fuck no. <laughs> Nobody's going to know the day I'm going to take about it. it. Yeah. They'll know once I get a passing result. Yeah, that's pretty much <laughs> it. Uh, beyond, so that, like, I beat that boss in Dragon Quest. I beat, I got, I beat the fucking testing company. I'm calling that a boss fight. Well, hopefully if they don't lose it again. Uh, and then, <laughs> so oh no, it went through the shredder. Yeah. I honestly, at this point I see it happening. Uh, and then it comes down to like Nino Cooney and it, it like right now, if I had to rank that you game, almost quit at one point, I'm like, it's not that like, I almost did, but like <laughs> I'd put this game at like a high C or a low B because like, I like the game as a concept, but like once I got, I had Oliver and I had his little Pokemon and I was like, okay, three little monsters. I have a magic guy a magic attacker and then a physical guy. I'm like, okay, this is my Pokemon. Yeah. Then when I got Esther, I was like, fuck, now I have six people to take care of essentially. And not like that, you could play as the trainers. I'm using, you know, cause Pokemon terms. So that's eight people I can manage. And then you get another character. I'm like, these are 12 characters to handle in a real time battle. Like this yeah, is a, a lot. fucking lot. So I, I came down to the point where like, all right, I'm just gonna, I'm going to be Oliver and I'm going to work on his guys and I'm going to let the AI do all the rest. Their thing. Yeah. It, it's still like four people to manage in real time is a lot in that game. And just, yeah. I kind of just wish it was Oliver and them. So that's kind of how I'm playing it. But if Oliver dies, like a sense of dread comes over me in that game. <laughs> like, I'm just like, fuck. I got to be one of the guys I don't like. And then I don't remember what boss. I wasn't like stuck, stuck on a boss. It was just kind of like the other thing I run into, into in that game is like the battles. Like if I run out of items or like MP, the battle just becomes like waiting for Drippy to throw orbs and like hoping you get enough to do your attacks. Like last night I was fighting one of the characters nightmares and I ran out of magic, but every character was dead except Oliver. And like <laughs> I had no magic or items left. So it came down to just me blocking the right moves. A couple of orbs would pop out, get a little magic to do one attack and just do that. And oh, they added like an extra 45 minutes on the fight. I was kind of like, this is like, I like I don't know like I don't hate the game but I'm like I don't know how to do this forever, yeah, and I it sound very fun. No, fun but like game. that's the thing. It's what, Nino Kuni is always one of those games that they talk about where people go, "Wow, the art style is really great. I love the art style. It looks just like a Studio Ghibli film." But I'm like, what about the gameplay? What about the game? <laughs> and like nobody ever talked about the actual gameplay, so I'm like, it's one of these games. So like I don't know. I want like I'm gonna keep going because the story's kind of good. Like it's it's yeah. really good, but I'm like. Some of these battles, like, I feel like I'm either struggling and dying immediately or breezing through everything. Or it's way too easy. Yeah. There's they're, no, like, in between. No, like, and I don't, like, I just don't know if I want to go through Like, I don't hate it enough to really quit, but, like, I'm telling you, You're like, like uh... I'm, well, last night if I died in that battle, I probably would have been like, you know what? I think I'm good. I will say, if I really? lost that battle, I would have been like, I don't need to do that again. Because that was <laughs> an extra 45 minutes on that That's fight fair. for no fucking reason. So. That's fair. Honestly. I don't know. There's a lot of grinding in the game to get, like, good equipment. And by the time I get the good equipment, like, it's time to move on already. So I feel like I'm in a constant, like, money grind. But I don't know. So yeah, that's what I've been playing. Like um, Just those two? I think I, I told you I tried Among Us, right? No. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh, it was that we the... talked about it last time, but we lost the episode. Right. So we lost that episode. I'll just give a quick thing. I tried Among Us at work because uh, we were waiting for rain to go away. I get the appeal, but I cannot play that on the phone. Like it, that kind of kills it for me. It's definitely way better on PC. Um, yeah. I played it last night for the first time. Uh, Anitra was playing on her, on the tablet that we have, which is a lot better than a phone cause it's yeah. bigger, but it's still not the best because like, it's harder to click certain things or yeah. like misclick. Like she actually exposed herself once because oh, she was okay. trying to like, she was trying to click on some one thing, but accidentally hit the uh, vent and vented right in front of someone. Cool. Um, so I will, I'm like, I have nothing actually going on this weekend. So like, if you want to try streaming, I'll try to, I'll get it for PC. I'm streaming it tonight. I know you're busy, whatever. You're, yeah, you're doing I other go, things. You're I, go to, this, I, I go to sleep but, and I edit. Yes. <clears throat> but after the, after we're done recording this, I'm going to eat dinner and then I'm going to stream among us with a group of people. But yeah, I plan, my goal is to play it at least two times a week. It's I'm really fun. Among us streamer. Oh, you're going to be, oh, and then when it dies off, what's next? Um, whatever the next craze is. Jump wagon. on that fan, that fan wagon, Adam. Yeah, I can't say, fan wagon, Aaron. I can't use your Band name. Bandwagon. 
I don't care. <laughs> I've had a week, man. <laughs> this house shit has no, not been easy. Like I just really like it. Like it was a shit ton of fun. I have a I actually uh so the group of people that we played with, I played with like a bunch of people in my area here, and then we had a group of ten and then eight people left. So and what it was do you just do? me and one friend here and then well then I started harassing other people until they got on. Is that I, had, um, I tried to get the thing out for you, I'm sorry. I had two friends from high school that I, one of them I have not talked to literally since we graduated in 2011. One I haven't talked to since like 2013. They both hopped in. Um, Phil Stamper, who, if you follow like independent wrestling, he puts out like the indie wrestling calendar. He is an indie wrestler. He's a pretty good like media guy. Um, He's a pretty good probably, media guy. <laughs> you've probably seen me tweet some of his shit. Probably. Um, uh, he hopped on. Um, this dude I met through the Fire Emblem community mm-hmm. that I've become friends with, he hopped on. Um, so we just had like a random group, me and Anitra, and we were just playing, and it was just it was so much fun, dude. Like, we got to reconnect with some people. I found out I'm a pretty good imposter. Um, Anitra and I, as a team, we somehow got imposter together three times, and we won every single time. I saw her tweet out. She's like, I am the imposter. Like, <laughs> huh? Well, she – so, like – I don't think she had the glitch, but I remember when the game first was getting big, there was a glitch where people would get imposter every round. Anitra was literally, her very first game was the imposter and won, but she was the imposter literally like 90% of the time to the point where near the end, we were just jokingly like, yep, uh, we're just going to vote you off first because you've been the imposter so many times. You're probably the imposter. Was it? Was she the <laughs> imposter? Yeah, actually. Oh, <laughs> And then the very last game, we did it again, and she she said she was the imposter, so we played like there was only one imposter, Yeah, but she wasn't. She lied to us and cost us the game. That uh, You guys fell into it too easily. It's true. We need to but, get that up. Um, but no, it's fun. My goal is to keep doing playing it some more. Um, I really like it. It's a lot of fun reconnecting with other people. I already have about five or six people guaranteed tonight. Probably more people will join last second, so... Yeah. Uh, side note, uh, I'm doing this because I love doggies. Uh, Chase plays online, whatever he's going by. Yeah. He had an Among Us stream Sunday. Uh, I did a little fundraiser because his puppy needs surgery. Uh, if anyone Aww. can help, yo, go go see Chase. Message him on Twitter. I want that puppy to be okay. I love dogs. Yeah, Fucking love animals, man. So uh, he did a great time playing Among Us. Him and his wife and a couple other people. It seems it seems like it's hard to stream that, talk to chat, and then like. Go back and forth. Like, you definitely need the push to talk on for Discord. Oh, yeah. That's that's how I played it with yeah. the push to talk. The only thing is I don't normally use push to talk. So a lot, there was times during, like, meetings I'd be, like, talking. And I'd be like, mm. why aren't you listening to me? Uh, oh, yeah, I got to push space. And then idiot. I also found out space um, also is the use button. Oh. So sometimes, like, I'd go to talk or something and accidentally, like, open up a menu or something. Uh, you should probably use, like, so I have to, I have to change the push to the I have to change the push to talk button. Make it like dash or something. or something stupid. Yeah. So, all right. That's the um, plan. When that becomes up. All I've done is that in Madden. That's all I've done. I don't care. Talk about Madden. I don't give a shit. This is your moment. I want this podcast to be like a two guys hanging out on the front porch, Aaron. Even if I don't give a shit, tell me. Dog, there's literally nothing to talk about. I'm in five Madden leagues, and I'm about to drop out of a few of them because it's just too much time. Yeah, well, five <laughs> of anything sounds like too much. But uh, me and my friend Eric did start a Madden league. And we're in week one right now, and we actually filled it up. All 32 teams are being played by people. Who's playing as the San Francisco 69ers? 69ers. Nice. Nice. Actually, it's my cousin. Oh, okay, then. Even though it's the 49ers. What is this button? But yeah, it's my cousin. Whoa. What are you doing? I don't know. I hit a button on the drive. Stop anyway. being distracted, nerd. I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't, no. I, I've gotten I a lot better that. at Madden, so. There you go. I'm not the worst thing ever. And then Anitra got this game, which we haven't even opened yet, but she bought it because it was three cents at Walmart. I can't. Trine. Uh, oh, so my buddy get, just got the the Switch collection of that. Uh, what is it's it? All... One, two, three, and four. Oh, uh, Aaron, I'm going to tell you right now, I feel poop coming on. We'll see how far we get. Three cents. Three. Wait, what? Three cents. That's how much it cost. Huh. Weird. That's why she was like, I've never heard of it, but yeah. it was three cents, so I couldn't say no. <laughs> I mean, that is a good reason. Hold on. I'm going to make this. Uh, I think I would buy any game for three cents. Are you leaving me? No, I'm just preparing for when the poop comes. 
Oh my god. I'll tell you. you just like let's uh, just let's get to the news then. Let's get going. Come on. Oh, oh, well, I would rather Come do when we're done doing our bullshit in the beginning and I, and I poop. I'd rather just get through the podcast and then you go poop. Why didn't you poop before the podcast? Because I was excited. I was so upset the last episode got ruined. What a surprise. Kevin's full of shit, guys. I mean, that's actually true right now. Accurate. 100%. Oh, wait. Uh, why don't you start? Because I realized I didn't put a link for the... Uh, the what am I starting? Uh, the news. I didn't put one for the PS5 licensed... Uh, well, look it up right now. We'll do that one first. Right, we'll do Aaron, the PS5 Aaron, stuff. Okay, 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 Get fine. It right now. Do it. Well, Aaron, Aaron. Where are we going? PS5, what is it? What are we talking about? I know you saw one of the things was about why it's so big. Uh, I actually don't know. I haven't looked at that article yet because you forgot to put that article in until we started. Uh, oh, man. This is going to be rough. It's like Kevin is a pain in the ass. No. Oh, okay. So oh, I also have been playing Duel Links and Supercard more because oh, I have no life. Oh, that reminds me. I got to get my dailies and Fire Emblem. Dude, I don't know. All right, no. Th- this poop's happening. <laughs> no. Dude, this bro. poop's happening. All right, Aaron, I'll be right back. This poop's oh, happening. Don't you worry. God. Shut the fuck up. I'll be right back. I love you. You definitely did not wipe your ass. Oh, my God. I, I did like a really shitty wipe. I won't lie. Let's get this going. Oh, man. <laughs> Kev's going to have them streaky boys. Ah, oh, whatever. I, I'm going to shower again tonight anyway. All right, Aaron. What are we uh... your clothes at this point. I don't know if this article was right. I just found one and clicked on it. The Lad Bible. What a fucking source. All right, here's the deal. Everyone bitched about the Xbox hard drive prices. Maybe that was the last episode, too. I don't know. Um, um, no. Honestly, point is, I don't remember. Point is uh, you're going to be spending a lot of fucking money on hard drives. Uh, what are we looking at here? Yeah, Solid state drives for Western Digital are available in 500 gig, 1 terabyte, 2 terabyte. The prices are in the third paragraph. The prices are in the third paragraph. Let's see what these nope, things are going to Too far down. Too far down. the up, fuck? Up, up, right there. Oh, my. Paragraph. Okay, okay. These products cost, what? oh, my God, 150 229 at 449 Yeah, bro. Holy shit, dude. Like. Sounds good to me. So, sounds fair. Uh, does it? No, not really. It's going to say, like, good. look, I mean. Uh, that, Especially, like, like if it, if it started, like. No, I, don't even hit the I don't know. Maybe if it was like one, two, and three terabytes, might be decent. But like, well, that's the thing. So one terabyte is gonna be in the system, but I don't think that's enough already. No, I don't think five hundred. Like, if you're gonna spend money on external, like five hundred gigs is a ridiculous, like small thing to get. That's like five to eight games tops. Yeah, especially nowadays. Like I, I would not recommend that in one bit. Right. Oh my god, these things are so expensive, dude. I well, so yeah. we talked to the, in it'll, the it'll lo- come down. I know it'll come down pretty well, quick. Yeah, but... memory gets cheap. But so like in the in the lost episode, I think we talked about the Xbox solid state prices. What Xbox is doing is that like yeah, you have to get that licensed one because it's fast enough so you can read games and write stuff on yeah. and off of it. But the workaround is if you have like a shitty two terabyte USB hard drive, what you can do is you can plug it in, and you can't play games off it but you can at least store them on there transfer it to the uh fucking system itself and then you can play them off there and apparently it goes pretty quickly and holy shit that seems like it's going to be a necessity at this point that's so expensive yeah i don't know how i feel about it so are you going to do live with a terabyte for a while yeah if i get it for i mean again like the way you and i have talked like we we rotate our games anyways yeah like if we're not going to play a game we're going to delete it off our system anyways and the games that we want to play will have like ready so yeah I, that's the best i think advice. a terabytes i think a terabyte will hold like eight to 12 games and honestly like i'll never play more than three to four games at a time so like for me personally it's probably not that big of a deal no but for I mean... someone but for someone who like shares their system or like you get it for your kids and maybe one kid's a little older and they play some games other kids but like it, it's gonna it's it's gonna be a problem it's gonna fill up like way too fast I yeah. I mean, the best advice I can give anybody is, like, yeah, do the thing that we've started doing is, like, queue up the games you want to play, get them installed, get them ready, get them updated before you start playing, and, like, hopefully you can avoid this. Um, that's a fucking lot of money, dude. I don't know. I, I hope something cheaper comes along fast. You that's and me both, lot. dude. You yeah. and me both. I remember, uh, well, for the Wii U I have over there, I it, your only options were 8 and 32 gigs because Nintendo doesn't understand, like, anything i remember working at gamestop and there was a 320 gig hard drive 
for seventy nine ninety nine, and I just bought a two terabyte for sixty. Like, yeah. what two weeks ago? So like, it's, it's not worth it at all. Like, it, no. they'll, they'll come down. Um, you might have to be a little smart with your space when you first get it, but it, it'll come down. I'm not too worried about yeah. it. I mean, look, not right away. They're but definitely eventually. gonna rip some people off. Oh yeah, well that's early adopter tax, man. Like, unfortunately, you're you're kind of just getting dicked. Yeah. But uh, let's see, uh, incredibly dinky. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna say wait on that. Hold yourself together, friends. Same, same, same. No, right. the PS5 fan. Oh my god. So, so all right, I hate the look of the PS5 personally. I think it looks like Seto Kaiba's jacket with the black underneath. I don't know if you saw that one. You just made me love it more by saying that. I just think it's too big. <laughs> it's really, really big. But there's a reason for that, apparently. It's because, apparently, the... Uh, cooling. The cooling Which thing is sense. fucking huge. Oh, my I mean, God. It it's keeps, so big. Again, I, we, I think we talked about this in the last episode where I said, if it keeps it from having the inevitable red ring of death type problems that a lot of systems come out with, I think I talked about the... Um, graphics card that was like the biggest and most powerful graphics card ever but it only has one fan when right. com- kind of comparable ones have three to four fans on them yeah like what kind of sense does that make so like they were overheating so i'm hoping that this will at least keep it from overheating and will fix some of those like first draft problems they have when the first release happens i, I doubt it i'm sure there'll be something that yeah. comes up there'll probably be something different but I'm hoping that the system will work well because of it. PS5. If, it, if there's no like, if there's no like red ring of death or like some of the problems some of the original PS4s and stuff had, like if there's none of that, then I'm 100 percent fine with it being so big. So I guess the the airflow is straight up going from one side of the system to the other, as opposed to like just being a fan that's going to cool the inside. Yeah, at least that's what that's it seems cool. like. I think that's pretty cool, but I mean. There's still going to be some day one issues because, like, you can beta yeah, test I'm all sure. you want. But until people are playing it, you're never going to know what's going to happen. Mass playing it, yeah. Uh, I mean, that thing's huge. I I do like that the side plates come off because I don't want it to be white. I don't like white electronics. I've, I think yeah. I said that last time. But, like, I don't know. That thing's fucking huge. My more bigger Again, concern with the PS5 I'm is just that saying, it's ugly. If, I don't, honestly, I think it looks better than the Xbox, personally. Um, they're both huge and dumb, but again, if they both work without issue, Hopefully. when they come out, I'll deal with it. But if they fucking have issues and are big and ugly, then we have a problem. Yeah. The, uh, I, there were rumors going around. I didn't put it in the news cause it apparently turned out to be like a not issue, but I yeah. guess the Xbox series series X, is that what it's called? The Xbox series X, X. Yeah, okay. I, think. I guess people are saying like the top of the Xbox was getting so <laughs> hot, people were getting like second degree burns from touching the top. Turns out people are full of shit. Um, but like I don't, I don't know. I, I'm always expecting game or game systems to uh, overheat and fail. So at least the first run of them. I don't know. That yeah, thing's just so huge know. and ugly. I don't. I, I really like don't we, like the look of it. Like I said, I'll probably get it for Christmas. I hope I, I do, it. but it looks like we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be busy this year. So, yeah, sounds like it. <laughs> Probably not, man. Um, yeah, I don't know what else. We're, man, this is gonna be a short ass news day. That's yeah, all we got. We have like three things left. So, uh, I speaking save of the Pokemon sh- thing, last. Yeah, no, that's actually that. So, actually, speaking of slow ass news day, uh, I don't actually have an article pulled up because we covered it last week, but. Because Billion was a nice Twitter boy, he was like, yo, what the fuck you guys want us to talk about? We got nothing. Uh, somebody said, uh, well, let me, let's get the person. They it said was Rodney. T- it was Rodney. Let's talk about Minecraft and Smash. Me and Aaron kind of yeah. did talk about it last week. Um, I, people fucking lost their shit over it, man. Do we want to cover it again? I guess we should because we didn't. I mean, we could talk about it a little bit. I mean, it mainly it comes down to don't fucking buy Steve if you don't like Steve. Everyone was so that's literally up in arms the about biggest it. thing. Like, and oh, this is this is that's right. I actually went on a rant about this. That literally, you could do it again. I'm willing to hear it. Yeah, literally. Okay, when they came out with it and they were talking about DLC and stuff, um, they told you you were getting five characters for DLC. Five. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Right. Five. Mm-hmm. So they released, I think, three or four of them, and there was one or two left, and they're like, 
Oh, big surprise. We're coming out with another pack of five. Mm -hmm. Holy moly. Now you're getting twice as many as you thought. And this 80 character um, roster already. Yeah. Like, and the game already has the largest roster of any Smash game ever. So now you're getting double what you expected. So yeah, there's going to be one or two you're probably not going to like. Maybe three or four. But you know what? If there's four you don't like and there's six you like, that means you're getting six new characters in the game you like, and that's still more than five. Oh my Holy God, that's shit. what you originally thought you were going to get. Yeah. So like, I just don't understand people's logic and why they're so mad. Like, I get it. It's not what you want. But you know what? Minecraft is one of the biggest fucking games ever. And Absolutely. there is plenty of people who have never played Smash Bros that are younger kids that have played Minecraft that this could bring them in. It is a money-making idea. It's going to make Smash money. And then it might even get some of us cranky older people to go from Smash to try Minecraft because they're like, you know what? This character is kind of cool. Those yeah. creeper things, I don't know what they are, but they're kind of cool. Let me try the game and see if I like it or not. I mean, absolutely. It's only, again, it's an optional character. If you don't like him, literally don't play as him. That kind of solves, Bingo. That solves all your problems. Uh, I kind of wish we got another Fire Emblem character, unironically. Dude, I, I don't literally every post I saw before they like announced it. Was, At least it's like, not a fucking man, Fire Emblem I'm, character. I'm really hoping, like before they announced who it was, I was like, I'm really hoping it's a Fire Emblem sword user. Please Absolutely. and thank you. I mean, I was like, <laughs> for one, I just like sword characters, so I'm not, I would be absolutely biased. But like, yeah. fucking put Camilla in there with her fucking wyvern or just a, a spear of some sort. I, I like Byleth because Byleth has like all the Lord's weapons. Right. So you have like the Fail Gnaw. I don't know all their names, but like the Extendo Sword, yeah. the Creator Sword that she has, she slash he has. Yeah. Edelgard's Axe and uh, Dimitri's Lance, which is like the Arad Bar. Whatever it's called. Like, like the thing is, like, that's a DLC character. I don't understand why everyone is really upset because you can, again, just don't buy it. But Not like, buy it? <laughs> like, apparently they had to really readjust the game for Steve, too. Because I guess he doesn't jump. Really? He has to build blocks to get anywhere. Yeah. That seems so fucking random. But, like, it, it's, hey. a ce it's a celebration of gaming culture, like, at this point. So, like, That's my Minecraft is huge. Is, like, like, you can't, like, Minecraft is literally one of, if not the biggest game of all time at this point. Like, there's not a person who's never heard of Minecraft that is, like, under the age of 80. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Essentially, I mean, a Fortnite guy should be in, in Smash Brothers at this point, though. Like, I wouldn't even be surprised if he was one of the last five. Honestly, how? What do you think the reaction would be on the internet if Fortnite guy slash girl, whatever, is an, is the next Smash Brothers character? Dude, I think like the elitist Smash people around our age and a little bit older yeah. would lose their mind and maybe destroy their own system, and I would find it hilarious because then they would wind up going and buying another one because they're fucking marks. Yeah. And it would be absolutely. absolutely amazing. I just, I fucking get over it. Like, first of all, that the, is literally the, the biggest competitive thing. Smash Brothers should not be a thing. And I stand by that. It's not a fucking like, comp I, competitive game. I, I get why it is. I, I'm, I understand anything can be competitive. If you have two people who want to be the best. Sure. Ass. I don't care what it is, but the fact that like your entire life is like, I must be the number one smash player. And if it doesn't fit my ideas, you're horrible. Like well, other fighting games aren't like that. Other fighting games. Like, yeah, there's like, man, I don't like that character, but when they, I've never seen another fighting game add a character and there'd be so much outrage. Well, first like, of all, yeah, there might be people that'd be like, Oh, I don't like it, but they're never like, Oh no, should have been nothing over this. This is trash. All, Destroy the game. You say other fighting games. You just mean fighting games. Cause smash isn't a fucking fighting game. Let's get that right out of the way. And if you have to change all of the rules of the game to make it a competitive fighting game. Maybe it's fucking not like, Oh, it's a very, it's a casual party game. Yeah. Like, that's my just, biggest. It's just, it's like, not dude. The fact you have to like change like the stadiums to a certain way. So it can be competitive and like no items. Honestly, honestly, items are one of the most fun part of the game. Yeah. Even though it's fucking random luck based bullshit. It's so fun. That's kind of the point. It's not a, it, like even Sakurai was like, I remember one interview. He's like, I have no idea why you guys take this so seriously. Like, he doesn't <laughs> understand. He's like, why are you playing it this way? So, but, whatever. I'm going to... No, I, th I still Smash think it's game. cool. Yeah. I, I think it's cool. I'm cool with it. I don't understand people's outrage. They can all fall off a cliff. <laughs> Aggressive. Uh, Aaron, we will go to the Bioshock one next because the next two are kind of uh, little funsies. So, let's talk about the Bioshock okay. creator, Ken Levine. Aaron, fill me in. 
um i don't know much i was just kind of trying to find news to add great and i <laughs> guess that his um the creator ken levine creator of bioshock his studio ghost story games apparently is putting up jobs that kind of show that they're near the end of completion of a new game they Ooh. don't really talk much other than that uh, an immersive people... game with rpg elements Ooh. yeah so people are curious, and it's something to keep an eye out for. Mm. That, that's about all it really in was. In addition, the vacancy also reiterates that Ghost Story Games, which was founded by Levine in 2017 after leaving the now shutter Bioshock Infinite developer Irrational. Immersive story-driven games. Ooh. I don't know, Aaron. Do you think it's going to be a it Bioshock? Be cool. No, it's not going to be Bioshock, because Bioshock's already been made by a different team. Oh, uh, if you want it's a Bioshock be... 4, it's a team working on that, yeah. too. It's called Cloud Chamber. Because he, he left. He left the companies that owns it. Like, he made his own company now. I've never heard of Cloud Chamber, though. What the hell is that? Probably just a company that's... No, no, no. That's, that's a... Company. Uh, wait, is that the team? Uh, yeah. No, Cloud Chamber is a game. Oh. So, Cloud Chamber is essentially going to be a Bioshock 4. That sounds cool. I've never heard of this. No, it's Cloud Chamber Studio, a new team at 2K headed up for Axis Games. Oh, I thought that was the name of the game. Whack. All right, whatever. Yeah, that's why I was like, it's, it's a, yeah, it's for Axis. All right. So yeah, I kind of, I mean, would you be interested I'm intrigued. in Bioshock? I'm intrigued. I'd check it out. I mean, it, it's not Bioshock. Like, what he's making is probably going to be some type of spiritual successor mix of Bioshock and new stuff, but I'm right, intrigued. Right, right. I'm intrigued. Right. I've, never, I've never really played Bioshock. Yeah, you so haven't? You know. Dude, you know? oh my god, you gotta play Bioshock. I know a lot about it. It's just it was always kind of like, eh, for me when I was younger. So, so it never it wasn't I, my type game. I started. Man, everyone says Bioshock Two sucks. I started at Bioshock Two because I was in my dumb like, I care about online games more than stories phase. And Bioshock Two's online, I will say, yeah. was actually really good. I enjoyed it a lot. That's fair. Um, but I didn't know that I didn't know why people hated two so much because I heard it was like you could try, play that as opposed to you know playing one then two. Um, yeah. story wise, probably just go one, two infinite. Honestly, I, I, Bioshock's worth it, man. I, I would tell you get the HD versions, but get whatever you can. They're so fucking I good. I feel like I own the first one on PSN or something. I don't know. I just never gave it a shot. Do you have, Bio great, do but... you have Bioshock infinite lying around? No, I don't think I ever bought that. So never into here, it. here's how you can do a two for one, Aaron. If you buy it on PS3, it comes with a copy of Bioshock on the disc. Problem is I don't use PS3. Okay, well <laughs> then go fuck yourself. Go get the HD collection. PS3 and Xbox One are the only two systems I don't have hooked up somewhere in this house. Well, then go get yourself a Game Pass machine, and fucking because that's all it's good for, Aaron. Well, that's something we're gonna talk about next. Ha, oh ha, ha, fuck! Ha. I didn't even mean to do that, bro. Look at you. You're just a natural podcasting I, god. Yeah, you know what? I'm not saying I'm a pro at this, but like. You know, I keep getting harassed by uh, One Up John and various other people. Like, get back into YouTube and get back into YouTube. And one, I tried it. Nobody watches my shit, so it doesn't fucking work. Two, I think I'm better at like on the cuff, like bullshit, saying dumb shit than like pre-scripting it and trying to be funny. If that makes sense. Not feel it. Like I, I, but, uh, I feel like anyways, I would be a great improv comedian. New Xbox PC Game Pass titles were announced, and what's leaving was announced. Age of Empires three, dope as fuck. I don't know Heave Ho. I don't know Katana Zero. Okay, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Katana Zero is really good. Have you played, um, uh, what's the game called? The, the Hotline Miami? I've never played it, but I've seen it. Is it so, like so here's the deal with Katana Zero. It's essentially like you have a, a, it's a 2D level, and you're a little samurai yeah. guy, and you have to figure out how to kill everyone in the level without being seen kind of deal, right? But the dialogue options are like kind of the gimmick of the game. So, like, you talk to somebody... And you do your normal dialogue, but also not saying anything is also a dialogue choice because there's oh. a little timer. It's like, okay, fucking ignore me, I guess. Or if you skip through the dialogue, people get mad. They're like, all right, fuck you. I'll rush. Like, so like there's all these choices in the game. It's actually really cool. Um, that's hilarious. Actually. That's yeah. cool. I try it. Tales of Vesperia. So good. Awesome idea. Yep. Love that. And game. I don't know the swords of ditto Mormo's curse. Oh, uh, it sounds like shit. Um, and apparently Cricket 19, I would totally Whoa. play that if it wasn't console only. Um, you, would you really? Dude, that'd be hilarious. You know what Cricket is, right? Yeah, I know what Cricket is. 
Yeah. Oh, Saints Row is leaving? Oh, no. Yeah, so, but it says PC only. Oh, so, okay, good. Metro 2033. That's a good game. Um, the two ones that I'm, I'm sad about is Lego Star Wars and Lord of the Rings Adventure Card Game. What the I'm fuck? I'm not actually sad because I don't have a... I don't have Game Pass, but that's one of the reasons I put it on here. Um, is Game Pass worth it for me if I only have a PC? Um, honestly, I started on on the PC end of it, right? Like and, Age of Empires three is dope. Tales of Vesperia is dope. It it is dope. Honestly, like I just don't like PC gaming. Like I I have a capable laptop to play mostly anything. I just don't like it. Something about it just doesn't feel right to me. I don't know what it is. If it's like putting it in window, dragging it over to my TV, then when I'm streaming, like it's kind of a hassle, but. There's a solid game uh, selection there, man. Like, 200 plus How games. How much is it? So, I think it's $10 a month if you just get console or just get PC. And then, PC. It's, and then it's 15 if you want both. Plus, it comes with Xbox Live then. Yeah. So, if you plan... I would if say, you had an Xbox, it would be worth it to get 15 But if you don't, right. just do the 10 I would tell you to get the 10 I mean, for $10 a month... It's a pretty good fucking deal to just look through all these games. Maybe you end up doing like, oh, I'll play this for two minutes, and then like, okay, let me go try something else, and you keep flipping back and yeah. forth. Um, but the beauty of Game Pass is, so Red Dead Redemption 2 was leaving soon. I actually got the app on my phone that alerts you, like, hey, things are leaving soon. So yeah. they, I downloaded Red Dead Redemption 2, which took up way too much space. And yeah. because it's off Game Pass, it doesn't matter. I, it's still on my hard drive. That's one thing Xbox has been doing right. Like, this game's going off the service, so download it now if you want to play it. And they can't take oh, it from so me. you'll have it until you delete it. Right. That's pretty cool, actually. So, and, the, and so, like, all these games leaving, so, like, whatever, let's just say Felix the Reaper. If you download Felix the Reaper on your console, you'll have it until you delete it. Yep. That's that's actually really yeah. cool. And actually, so I like that what they do that with their games is gold better, um, because where PS Plus, once your subscription runs out, you can't play them anymore. On yeah. games of gold, you have them. They're yours. That's dope. Yeah, That's actually so, really... I definitely prefer that. Good job, yeah. Microsoft. Honestly, like, when it comes to the PS Plus and Game Pass, I'm not going to renew my PS Plus. Like, I don't think it's been worth it other than, like, Fall Guys this year. I, I play ga certain games that I've gotten from it and stuff, right. so but I like, will, but... I can go actually, get Actually, isn't them. Vampire the yeah, game this month? Yeah, Vampire and uh, Need for Speed. Payback? I don't care about Need for Speed. I've been wanting to play Vampire for literally... Forever. So yeah, I, I mean that's worth it. I would so I'm actually excited about that. I would tell you to go. But no, I'm interested in this. Um, I'll have to talk to Anitra. Let me. I mean, just kind of looking. Just this little list of a couple games. I'm like, you see. know what? That's kind of cool. I mean, like if we go here, let's go to I the mean, Xbox. I'd rather PC, but. Well, I mean, look. It, it, I'll tell you here. So Aaron, everyone can see this. Aaron can see this. I think, right, Aaron? Yeah. So if we go down to the Game Pass tab, right? You go to the Xbox Games. Come on. Game Pass for PC. And just so, like, you could see what, you know, you're getting here. Uh, Explore Library. There we are. Why is this so big? Jesus Christ. All that games. weird. Yeah. I will say their Ooh, website. RPG. Their website's a mess. Um, then we go to PC again. We go to PC again. Uh, and then I like to do A to Z. A to Z. But before we do that. Age of Empires is so cool. Uh, oh, game. 200 games from Age Blood oh yeah, yeah. So Age of Empires two, three Age is on of the... Wonders is cool too. Yeah, Alien Isolation, Ark. This is actually pretty fun. Battle Chasers Night War. Um, really? Yeah, my buddy played that. Fuck Battle Bridge Toads. Constructor Portal. That's funny. That actually that game looks kind of cool. Bloodstained. Uh, Bro Force is the greatest thing ever. I love Bro Force. Uh, Dead Cells. I love Dead Cells. Dead by Dark Daylight. Siders. Dark Siders three. Who is that? Disgaea. That's cool. Disgaea is really fun. Which one? Disgaea. Disgaea. It's down one. It's Oh, just guy have four complete. Yeah, okay. I have one of those. Dragon Quest Eleven is the one I I'm really looking forward to. Yeah, but it's the S version uh, that the Switch had the extra stuff. So, like, oh, the, okay. the cool version on that, which is why I wanted the Switch one, is that you could play it in, like, a 16-bit version, and the game plays, yeah, yeah, like, I've the same that. way. I want to yeah. do that. That was the only reason I was like, that's kind of cool. I'd want yeah. that. Um, what else do we have? Fuck Fallout 76. Fallout 76, bro! Uh, not, I should have played this version of... Uh, Final Fantasy 9, Nine when you were doing school. it for Game Club. Uh, 15. Gears. Football Manager is actually kind of cool. I like that. Uh, yeah, that's a you thing. I want to try Gears Tactics. Gears Tactics. I, I was going to say, I want to try that because uh, Halo Wars was great. Yeah. Speaking of Halo Wars, yeah, boy. I can finally play the second one. Yep. 
Uh, I want to try. I don't know what Spartan Strike is. What I'm is assuming assault? it's probably some weird expansion for something. I think they're like twin stick shooters, actually. Hellblade, isn't that what uh, Static was playing? Yeah, that, that's a game I'm going to watch somebody play. I don't really have any interest in uh Yeah, I don't think I'd play it. Indivisible yeah. Spawn. Indivi- I want to try that. It's a Metroidvania RPG, right? It's a it's a good game, yeah. I think you'd like it. Uh, Killer Instinct, I finally want to play that. Um, uh, Indivisible is good because like it's simple, but there's like little complex things you can do, but you don't need to do to be mm. better at it. Uh, let's see what else. I want to look at... Park Baseball! Yeah, we're just, we're just looking at all these quick because it's slow news day. You hear the fuck we are. Yeah. Uh, I kind of want to try Power Rangers Battle for the Grid, but I heard it wasn't that good, so this is perfect for Pandemic, that. Pandemic, the board game. Dude, Rise of Nations. I used to play that. That's... Wait. Oh, my God. Oh, you, uh, Right where... Yeah. Shadow Warrior Where's 2 is super worth it, too, by the way. Um, that, this, the first... This is... You're kind of... You're kind of... Uh, dude, you're making the sell for Microsoft, dude, bro. $10 a month, I think. I'm, I am will make sure on the Bard's price. Tale. I've heard that's decent. I keep seeing that around. I think there's a PS2 Lord game of the too. Rings, dude. The Lord of the Rings adventure card game is actually kind of fun. Well, then you got to try it before it goes, dude. Uh, that's just Fallout New Vegas, I heard. <laughs> of the right. Outer Worlds. Um, fuck. I mean, there's other cool shit on here, man. Like, there's oh, a lot of it. That's the one with the first page. Uh, yeah, we're near the end. So Yakuza! I want to. I want to try uh-huh. Wolf's Like Young Blood, even though everyone said it was kind of shit, but like. I whatever xeno crisis like, <laughs> but like dude for 10 bucks a month and they keep rotating stuff that's like bad. yeah if it's 10 bucks a month that's not bad at all what's straight up in the rpg category oh my oh we look at everything anyway so yeah um look i would tell you try it i think they have a trial period so you can at least try it out that's so fair. i'll have to look into it yeah try that out and uh let me know what you think all right last news item all right so th- i mean it's barely news um it's but kind of news. It's kind of so cool. remember twitch plays pokemon aaron yeah, kind of. Okay, so i got to do this without the sound fucking catching this time. So, Twitch Plays Pokemon, just to remind everybody, was like, somebody programmed Red and Blue to be played via Twitch chat, because, you know, I have that kind of free time in my life. Uh, somebody's been doing Fish Plays Pokemon, and I guess this beta fish has been playing uh, Pokemon Sapphire. Pretty much it swims over icons, and, uh, you know, it, it does what it tells it to do. Somehow, actually amazing. Somehow, this fish has discovered a, a glitch in Pokemon Sapphire that duplicates. Oh my Elgato's on it. That duplicates these boulders, so it makes this part of the game impassable. So, this is probably good for our video watchers uh, and nobody else. What is going on? So yeah, see the fish is going ape shit. It's yeah. telling like what's down here. How it's been playing for two thousand hours apparently. Uh, great. So. I think it was like a minute 28 it gets in there. Uh, let me try this for it. Let's try it right here. So essentially, like, you got to push these boulders around to fucking get through. Oh, here it is, right? Yeah. All right. So he's trying to get through these boulders, and somehow the fish put in some weird key input. that du- Look, see, it duplicates the what? boulder. And nobody has found this glitch apparently until now. So this That's amazing. So a beta fish has caused Pokemon Sapphire to pretty much become unplayable. What a smart fish. Smart I don't know, fish is, I don't know if it meant to be Oh, the fish has a Twitter handle. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh my god. The fish is more popular than me. Uh yeah, look, it, it duplicated all these things so it can't go anywhere, dude. That's absolutely So, weird. I mean like I don't I think John sent me this news. But like what the fuck, dude? Uh, I can't believe. It. Let's see. I don't know. Separate controller using power motion. Da, da, da. Let's see. Oh, the beta fish are rotating out every twelve hours for health reasons. Oh, that's kind of nice, actually. But yeah, nobody's uh nobody's noticed this until now. Huh. Way to go, Pokemon. You fucked it up. And that's our news. Yay! Yeah, news. dude. Dude, it was a slow ass news there. I'm not dude, gonna lie. We have a slow Q and A too, so it's fine. We gotta get this Q and A up. We gotta start bribing people, Aaron. I've just been waiting too long to post. I need to post a little bit sooner. That's on me. Oh fuck! There's a like. You I'll ever get like blame for that. like a super stiff hair on your neck and you just want to pull it out? Like it's like no. super fucking pointy and you're just like, oh, this one's annoying. No. Okay, maybe I just suck. Whatever. Yeah, I agree. Whatever, man. So what's our what's our Q and A here? Are we doing Q and A? We're gonna do Gauntlet first. We'll do the Q and A while I get set the Gauntlet shit up. How's that? Because I close right. the tab like well, an asshole. The Q and A is 
the one he put the three questions that we did last time because we lost them. So no, might as well do those again. Yeah, WCW or WWF. Oh, for for the Attitude Era times. Just WCW or WWF. Oh, so w- I'm assuming that it's here, but yeah. WWF. Agree. Um, best player in the backyard sports games not named Pablo. Oh, uh, what was his name? Dimitri. Dimitri. Uh, I forgot the girl's name. The, 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 uh, I forgot her name. Uh, we looked not, her up. I uh, yeah, we'll look it up again. Oh, okay. man. This is not going as well. Best as favorite Halloween costume you've ever worn. And I said, it depends. When I was young, the best one I ever won was my mom made this Pikachu costume, and I was Pikachu, and it was absolutely awesome. And then my favorite was a couple years ago, like 2016 or 17. I uh, I dressed up as Ash, and I had my little one of my little Chihuahuas, who is um, like one of the best dogs ever, dressed up as Pikachu, and it was absolutely amazing because she like she'll just sit on my shoulder, and right. I could just walk around with Pikachu on my shoulder, and it was awesome. Absolutely, I was the Red Ranger for many many years because I was a stupid child. I was like, nah, Power Rangers is still cool. That's all I want to be. Um, me and Tina were Jack and Coke, and she had a little hat that went with it that looked like a bottle cap. Yeah, you told one. me about that. That was cute. Uh, what the fuck else? We had I another one. I know. I'd have to find pictures. Um, fuck. I was at Jamin's house. I'm trying to remember what else we did. What the fuck else have I been for, for Halloween? I don't know. Maybe I don't dress wow. up as much as I thought. But yeah, I'm going to go I'm with the Jack Coke's my favorite one because that was cute. Two on Twitter. I saw one. I think it was the Nietzsche that was like top three underrated games everyone should play. Yeah, there you All go. Right. We'll okay. do that. I don't know if that's exact. I think it's something like that. All right. So I'm going to give three. Should we go back and forth? Or do you have three ready to go? I do not have three ready to go. All right. So number one, Legend of Dragoon. What the fuck, everybody? It's the greatest RPG ever made on the PS1. Disagree, but that's fine. It's what's still better, really underrated. What's better, on the, on the, uh, what's better other than that? We're not getting into this argument right now. What? No, just what's your answer? No. Like, on the P- just I on the like three answers. Just on the PS1. So just tell me. Tell me. That's fine. No. All right. Fine. Well, look, Legend that, of Dragoon is a wonderful game. Got overlooked because I think Final Fantasy eight or nine was coming out, and fucking nobody played it. But it was still sold enough to get a greatest hits from Sony, and they definitely didn't just put that on there to sell more copies. I promise. But like, it's a fucking cool ass game. If you like the mechanic in Paper Mario, where you have to time your hits, man. It's wonderful. It's a great game. Golden Sun. That's my first answer. Well, I mean, yeah, Golden Sun's really fucking good. Um, Golden Sun's absolutely amazing. Uh, and the only reason it stopped being made is because the DS one came out literally when, like, the DS was dead. And it was, like, one of the last games of the DS. And it had, like, no freaking advertisements, nothing. And it basically killed the series because the 3DS was out and nobody was paying attention to the, DD- the DS at all. Uh, side note, speaking of DS games, Aaron, did you ever pick up Pokemon Conquest? I still have not yet. Mm, okay. I want to, though. And it's uh, definitely something I know I'll like, but yeah. I just haven't yet. Uh, so yeah, Golden Sun, I would tell everybody to play that. I would normally say Fire Emblem, but I feel like it got so big now. It's like... It's, yeah, I, I would... I, like, Fire Emblem was the first thing that popped in my mind, but I'm like, between Awakening, Fates, and yeah. now uh, Three Houses, it's too big of a series not to be. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it has its own spin-off fighting game in Smash Bros., remember? True, true. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of an underrated game now that like I've played recently that nobody's playing. Um, I have one, but I didn't get to finish it because I I dicked myself in save states. It's called Saber Wolf on Game Boy Advance. Uh, I've heard of it. Sounds cool. It's a rare game actually. It's got that a very European like comic book style look to it, but essentially all it's like a puzzle platformer. You you're a little minor guy and you use little items or they're like animals to like platform through a level, grab this item at the end of the level and run back to the start uh so you have to kind of remember how you get there and it's actually kind of neat the levels last like uh, they're about a minute but like it's yeah. really fun i just i got really far and then i accidentally loaded a save state and i was like oh i guess i'm done so that was like two hours I, later i can't really think of anything dude i mostly play mainstream games lately and most of the stuff that i love be- has become mainstream all right hold on I know how, I know how to do this. I'm gonna go into this year of my list of games I've played too many of. My tier list That's is getting right. out of hand, and it's because like we had like a big layoff period, and also everyone was home. So like, uh, Heavy Burger, fucking everyone should play Heavy Burger, man. Oh, 
Time splitters. Time splitters. Time splitters. Oh my god, time that splitters. Such a good game. Um, All right, you do, you I do, need a time splitters for. Talk That's about time splitters first. One. Go ahead, give it a little. I mean, time splitters is just like a nice little cartoon. Sh- it's basically so like, time splitters is what you remember about Goldeneye. Yeah. Because Goldeneye, if you go back now, is not very good, hmm. but time splitters still holds up. So basically, what you remember about Goldeneye is actually time splitters. Because Goldeneye is and... not good, right? Not, not not anymore. I mean, it was for the time, but not anymore. Time Splitters is just a better Goldeneye that has like cartoony type characters. The story's dumb fun for like two and three. Um, doesn't take itself serious, but like it has all these like extra arcade game modes. It's just so fun, dude. Like it's a great party game. It's a fun solo game. Yep. I don't know. Really it's, happy you played Future. Perfect I need this year. number four. We'll get it. I have maybe. signed the. Uh, no, we'll never get it. I, I have signed the petition that yeah. millions of others have signed. I'm also getting that uh, that fucking Legend of Dragoon too. Don't you worry. Um, so Heavy Burger is a I wouldn't call it a twin stick, but essentially, if you like Data East arcade games, they kind of mash them into this like tug of war game where you're carrying a fucking burger across five screens, and as like time goes on, it'll start eliminating boards. So like you got to really. Just get a burger and a goal while shooting enemies and other Data East arcade games interfere. It's actually really fun. Um, Switch exclusive. But the one I want to talk about more than anything is Pizza Motherfucking Titan Ultra. Oh, my God. Dude, everyone should play it. Like, if you like Crazy Taxi, that's fun. It's just take, instead of dropping people off, you deliver pizzas. Take the taxi, replace it with a giant fucking mech. Like, it's fun destroying a city, and, like, you would think, like, oh, that's the whole game. No, sometimes you got to find the five ingredients. Sometimes you have to destroy this much of the city. Sometimes you have to save this much of the city. Depends on who's yeah. contracting you that day. All the references in that game, man, like, it needs more love. And it came out, like, two years ago, and nobody remembers. Like, Pizza, T- Pizza Titan Ultra needs a uh, renaissance. Um, what else on this list that I played this year maybe more people should know about? Um... I think that's it for me. I got, I got two. I'm happy with two. Yeah, I'm, I'll cover your ass then. Uh, never mind. No, I'm looking. At, <laughs> fucking don't. You've don't. already done four. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. I. I. So you're good. We I, got I, it. You ever heard of Doom Two? No. Oh, okay. Never, never heard, heard of it. it. Well, in, indie game. So it's cool. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, and then yeah. the last question is par- parallels between. I guess this isn't really. They put it in news, but. Yeah, uh, I know. <laughs> But um, uh, Rich. competitive gaming and competing in the octagon. Mister the Deviant. I'm gonna I'm gonna correct you one thing. Number one, I only do jujitsu. I don't do full MMA. Uh, I was gonna I, do it. I was I was also gonna say like I can't really compare it to the octagon because I've you, never you, you, you competitively really... fought. But like between competitive like sports, I can compare competitive gaming to competitive sports. And I think the biggest comparison is if you're gonna do like competitive things, and you want to actually be good at them, it takes commitment and time. Like that's commitment and hard work because like even in competitive gaming which some people think is a joke and sometimes in some games i think is a joke Smash Brothers. But, um, but with competitive gaming to be good to be actually competitive and good you need to put in the hard work playing and the time playing to get good and that's the same with sports with wrestling i wasn't just magically good at wrestling i literally practiced five to six nights a week at northeast elite from seventh grade until about my sophomore junior in high school and then i trained at team tugman for like six days a week for two years like literally my entire life was wrestling that's why i was nationally ranked that's why i got a college scholarship that's why i was good until i decided to get lazy and quit like that that's the biggest comparison like i think that you can get so like they both are if you want to be the top if you want to be the best it takes hard work and time the, uh, the other end of the spectrum is, like, I've never considered video games to be, like, competitive other than, like, let me play a game with my friends here and there. Because for me, like, between wrestling, between jiu-jitsu, between school, work, all the other shit going on in life, like, this is my escape time. Like, I know, like, my whole gimmick on Twitch is, like, I'm not very good at games. And, like, I'm okay with that because, like, this is my escape time. I don't want to be legendary games i just want to sit and relax if that means i die a couple times like i'm fine with that man like whatever i died as long as it's not like pissing pissing me off and the game is cheap like obviously that point kind of gets to that but like i just it's so different for me because i i don't see video games as like a competitive thing 
I would say, like, for me personally, they're not. Like, I understand the people who do. I understand that you can make a living. I get that. But for me personally, I'm the same way. Like, video games have always been my escape from bullshit in life. Yeah. They've been my escape from from those six, seven days a week of wrestling, cutting weight. Yeah. Instead of focusing on being hungry, I focused on playing Pokemon. Like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's, like that, that's, that's where you go to through the tougher away. times. Yeah, yeah it, that's what got me through the tougher times of wrestling when I didn't want to wrestle anymore. But like any competitive thing, I think every person at some point, if they're in a competitive thing, has the mind like gets a, in their mind, like maybe I should just fucking quit. Maybe it's not worth it. Yeah, I mean, I've like, been there many times. Every level. Every level, like, competitive, so. So, the one thing I, I will always stand by, and I know I'm going to, here we go, Aaron, we're going to get still on fire. Uh, I get esports are a thing. I swear to God, if you fucking come at me and tell me that video games are an actual sport, I will wring your neck. They're fucking not. <laughs> like, they're competitive, and that's not a sport, though. Like. I don't know. I can't say they're not a sport when, and this is going to piss people off, too, but, like, if you say bowling's a sport, then you can say pro gaming's a sport. I like, honestly, I don't. I, I don't think bowling's I, a sport. I love bowling. I'm a bowler. My dad was actually a professional bowler at one point. Right. Um, I can't say it's but a like sport. If, but you, you'd say golf is a sport. No, I say golf and bowling are games. They're not sports. Honestly, like kind of my thing about a sport is that like you have to kind of be in decent shape to do it. Like there are fat guys that do jujitsu, but like. They're strong, and they'll throw you out of your fucking mind. I Let me rephrase that. You have to be in decent shape to be good at it. Like, you can't just show up as a fat, lazy shit and be and just walk into a jiu-jitsu tournament. You'll get your ass kicked. But you could be a fat, not that I'm shit-talking like your dad, but, like, you could be a fat, lazy fucking bowler and still be a good bowler, you know? But the argument against that is the mental game, where in bowling maybe for some people they don't realize this bowling's not just like rolling a ball down the lane where you want it. Like there's different oil setups yeah. where like the ball, different ways to roll the ball. So it hooks like there's different ways. Like, okay. So if I hit this board while rolling the ball, it's going to snap back and hit here. I need to move over two boards to the right. Yeah, in my stand, a lot of so I hit it like, so like there is the competitive chess and people consider chess a sport. I, don't, I mean, I don't think chess is a sport either. But there's, like, thinking in board games, so I'm not taking that away from it. It's I'm just, just like... Well, I'm just saying, like, I I get what you're saying, and I can't say I'm 100% disagree, but I also don't 100% agree. Fine. Because, like, I think, like, physical aspects of sports are only a part of it, and a mental aspect is a completely, like... I was never in the greatest shape as a, as a wrestler, even when I was at the top. Like, my cardio was good. But, like, I was never the strongest. I only had abs for a very short time, and it's probably because I was just way too low on cutting weight. Right. Um, but, like, I treated wrestling as a chess game. Mm-hmm. I was always three steps ahead of my opponent. Like, I was always thinking, okay, if I do this, they're going to either do this or this. So if they do this, I'll do that. But if they do this, I'll do that. So I was always, like, two, three steps ahead. And that's why I won. I, I was never... That's fair. Like, so, so like, I, I think it takes a mix and um, I think that's why I could potentially consider gaming a sport is because there's a lot of mental to it. Like, it's very strong mental. And to be able to do it without being detrimental to your health and be good at it, you do need some type of physical shape. Because, like, yeah, you could be chubby, you could be agile, but, like, if you're just sitting there 24 hours a day playing and you're not in some type of physical shape, you're going to give yourself a stroke and you're not going to fucking play the game anymore. So, like, to be able to consistently do it at a high level and keep your mind clear and everything, because, like, working out really does clear your mind. It really does help. I, I think professional gamers need to, like, I, I think it could be considered a sport. I just think it's more of a mental sport, whereas something like, I can't say jujitsu because jujitsu is very mental, but something like, I don't know, we'll just say alignment in football, maybe they're not, like, in shredded shape but that's more of a physical position of blocking right in i sport. mean like, when it comes to crap i, I, I just fucking think... black out <laughs> i couldn't tell you Fair. what i did i <laughs> i watched my my shit back and i'm like i did what <laughs> like that's fair but like I, I don't know i can see both sides i i I'm... yeah 
Two things. Though. I'm always on. I'm on the fence on that. That's, That's my fair. thing. Two things. Uh, number one, the one thing I will never call a sport is NASCAR. You could, I'll fight you on that. The car's doing all the work. Suck my dick. Two, uh, I remember blacking out so bad in one wrestling match. I forget who it was against. But, like, you know how, like, the scoreboards in high school, they have the big score that's usually, like, your team score? And yeah. the bottom would have, like, the individual score. Whatever school we were at only went up to, like, I had a one and a zero in the spot. And, like, I black out so hard and, like, when I grapple. Like, I just know to do, do, do. But, like, I think about the match after. I don't know what the fuck I did. And um, whatever was going I was going against this kid who was he was ranked higher than me. And I just remember yeah. looking up at the score, and I saw 10 to 11. I was like, you got to be fucking kidding me. Like, I was working my ass <laughs> off of this match. I was like, fuck. And then I, like, I walked off the mat, and then I got pissed. I threw my headgear because I, I thought I fucking won. And my coach was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And I'm like... I fucking work my ass off like I'm, you know, you're pissed. You're not thinking rashly. He goes, you yeah. dipshit, you won. And I'm like, what do, you, <laughs> what do you mean I won? He goes, the fucking little score only goes up to 19, dipshit. You got 20. Like, <laughs> I was like, what? He goes, first of all, how do you even fucking score 20 to 11 and not pin the kid? What the fuck's wrong with you? I was like, yeah, that, that's I was, fair. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I did. He's like, you got your hand raised and everything. I was like, oh, I did. I was like, oh, oh okay. okay. <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> I don't, I, like, I can't remember what school was. I was just like, I fucking did? <laughs> I was like, oh. That's amazing, dude. That's like, absolutely I was hilarious. like, what the fuck? Okay, I guess I won. <laughs> oh. I, I take back that throw. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I, I'm like, i trying to remember the match in my head. Like, even jujitsu now, like, I think about what I'm going to do. I just don't remember. Especially if there's, like, a lot of takedowns, a lot of transitions. Like, I'm like, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. But, like, once we're on, like, side control and, like, things are steady, I'm like, all right, let me look for this motherfucker's arm. Well, like, that's the thing is you got to you gotta have that, like, in sports like that, you have to have the uh, – where your body will just move on its own in certain positions. Yeah. Because, like, if I had to think about how I'm going to do the ankle pick while also trying to think three steps ahead myself, yeah. I would have had so much trouble. Well, that's why you got to drill, drill, drill so it's muscle memory. Like, people yeah. don't get Muscle that. memory, that's the word I was thinking yeah, of. People, I couldn't think of it. But. People don't get that, like, you got to drill shit. And, like – so, like, I'm not a good teacher, and I understand this. So when I teach, like, on Thursday nights, it's hard for me because I have all these ideas in my head, and I, I know yeah. how to do them, but, like, I don't know how to, like, transmit it to people because I'm like, all right, when you go for, like, the ankle pick, you do this, you do this. And then, like, on the Saturday, Ben was teaching with me, and I know in my head, grab head, squat, pull the ankle. But then Ben, like, Ben's a good teacher, and Ben's a good coach. Yeah. So Ben has to explain all the things that I missed. To, I the forget. between Yeah, because people don't fucking know it. I'm like, oh, yeah, right, like. So I kind of like that when was I, the first my first yeah. time coaching. I had that issue, especially like like I could teach the ankle pick like anything now because obviously it was my number one move. So anytime I go anywhere with coaching, they're like, teach the ankle pick yeah. everywhere, no right. matter what. But um, my first couple times teaching, I was like, why aren't you getting it? It's literally just a stutter step, squat. Yeah, and people are like what's a head. stutter step, you know? Yeah, like and it's just like little tiny things, and I don't think yeah. about it. And then people are like, am I grabbing? I'm better now after a lot of experience, right. but starting off, I, I know, dude, it was just, yeah. ugh. And people are like, wait, so I'm grabbing the ankle? I'm like, no, you're really cupping the heel and throwing them over. I'm like, shit, I know this because, and like, I keep forgetting, like, I know this, but like, you have to talk to people like they're like infants sometimes, you know? Yeah, because, and it's not that they're dumb. It's just that you've done it a million times because you've drilled it yeah. so much that you've learned what exactly works and doesn't. And I was and taught from a good learning. coach. So like, yeah. it's in my head, but like, yeah, it's the roughest part. So I'm happy I'm only teaching like one or two people and they have wrestling yeah. experience. Cause like, Oh, thank God. Oh. Yeah. Uh, all right. What else we got? That was gauntlet. it, right? All yeah, right. So the gauntlet. gauntlet, uh, I'm looking at the things. Uh, let's see. Aaron right now is your champion winning by one whole point. So, uh, not very much of a lead. Um, uh, we don't have. Uh, Space Crew has a score. Oh, we did G.I. Joe. I don't Joe. know what it was, but I do know Space Crew has a score. G Space Crew has a score. Okay, so Operation Blackout, we did that one. Did we? So we can do Operation oh, yeah, yeah, Blackout yeah. and Space so Crew. So I should, I should just get... Uh, let me get rid of Operation Blackout because we already did that one, right? Wait, wait. No, that's not the one we did. We did. We only did Cobra Kai, right? No, no. We only did Nickelodeon Kart Racers, the one that's... No, that, yeah, that was the only one that we actually count, like got the final score on, though. These are yeah, our, yeah, yeah. these are our guesses. Yeah, these yeah, are. So we have okay. to. You have to look up. You have to look up. All right, so I gotta. Hi, right, if I highlight them, that means they're done. Yes. Okay. All right, we gotta remember that. So GI Joe, Space Crew has a score. You say. Uh, 
one of them did. I there's like three different versions. One of them did. Oh, we're going Metacritic. Here we go. I didn't uh, actually look at the score because I didn't want to know. Yeah, but like, I this is all. Curious. This is all on our system. If it's got like Geo, multiple systems, Joe probably has a score too because wasn't well, that out like two days ago? We'll, we'll check that. Um, all right, we'll do the PC one first. That works. Fifty-five. And it's four scores, so oh. it's not like it's very All right, low. So, Aaron, could you write these down on paper? We get, we're gonna average them, or something. So fifty-five for the PC version, right? Yep. All right, good. Uh, space group for Switch. Da, da, da. No meta score. Yet. No score. Okay, we won't Is count. There it. One score at all? Like scroll. Up. No, oh, there's okay, nothing. There's nothing. All right, PlayStation Four. Oh, okay. We have two seventy, so seventy. All right. So let me let me go back to the switcher. Maybe you were right. Yeah, I think there was one score right. I saw because it looked red. All right, we're counting it. Doesn't matter. Oh, this uh, it's got a seventy. Seventy. Like it's just Is on the seventy. I think it's just on that. I don't know if I'd yeah. count that. Uh, I don't know if we count honestly, it. Honestly, an actual like. Let's yeah. not count it. Okay, Xbox One. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, in eighty. Wow. 80? What a what a curveball there. All right, so what's our... My only, issue, my only issue with this is there was four reviews for one of them and then, like, two for one and one for one. But, like, so it's going to make it very not even, but, you know, it's fine. Aaron, this is, like, the least serious title in the world. Like, fucking... Well, I'm it? just talking about in general. The FTW title means more. Damn. What, it's going to make you closer. All right, Aaron, what's, our, what's, what's the average? 68. 68? So, wait, no. Uh, so, you are you got 11 points there. 13 plus 11 is 24. Yep. And I got five. Five. Oh, I'm in the lead, Aaron. Will I win the end of the day, though? Let's just highlight that. I'm one. just mad because there was more of the other <laughs> There was more of the other points. <laughs> Bullshit. Uh... Should we check on Karate Kid? We want to do G.I. Yeah. Joe. Let's do G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. I think yeah. G.I. Joe is the only one that would probably have a score. Uh, let's see. Meta. Sure. I got this. Space Force. G.I. Joe Operation Blackout. Okay. PS4. You get ready, Aaron? Is that the only one that it has? Or No. Uh, there's nothing there yet. Okay. So, no PS... All right. Okay, no thing. So, we won't, we won't do that then. Do you want to just skip that one? Well, check Switch. If there's right, we'll points switch. for Switch, we said we're doing it the day we look. Nope. No, no Switch okay. yet. Okay. Uh, so we're not doing it. So we'll, ke- we'll keep G.I. Joe in the back burner. We'll check on Transformers Battlegrounds and see how this is going. It's kind of close. We'll see. Let's see. Transformers Battlegrounds. If, oh, nothing there yet. Okay, there was one that was nah. closer. I'm trying to get... Uh, Need for Speed. We'll wait on that one. That's far away. Jackbox. Yeah, I think it was at the oh. top. You skipped it at the top. Cobra Kai? No, Cobra Kai. Yeah, Cobra Kai. No, but it's October 27th. That's still going to be too yeah. far. We All haven't right. done Jackbox yet, though. No. So, Jackbox. Yeah, I put that on there today. So, Jackbox Party Pack. Do you yep. want to Do you want to look what the games are, or do you want to just see? I, lo- I looked a little bit earlier today. Okay. So, so let's see what the Metacritic I'm, says. I'm just afraid because, like, if we're that close... Like we gotta we gotta put our scores in first. Don't yeah, we? yeah. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. So you see me on the page. I looked at it. I'm gonna go with an eighty. Man, I wrote down between seventy five and eighty five. So it's all on you, bro. Seventy seven. Seventy seven. Right in the middle. Uh. Okay. Uh. So we got PC one. It's only a, oh uh yeah it's only for PC. Are we going by that then? Yeah, that's fine. If it's even if there's even a score yet, because it's not. Oh no, out yet. not yet, not yet. So wow, we'll it's coming out tomorrow. Week. No, there's a seventy right here. I guess we're not counting that. Okay. No, because that doesn't count. Because it right, might just okay. be because there's no score. Okay. All right, we're gonna wait on that one. Uh, and then NHL twenty one. On, don't don't look it up yet because we got to do the score. We haven't put a score yet. I mean, what, uh, what was last year's? Um, I, I'll go first. Um, yeah, I, last yeah. year's, the last few games have been between seventy five and eighty three. I looked it up earlier. Okay. The last few years of games. I think last year's was a 77 or 78. I I wrote down 80-ish. Um, 80-ish. I'm going 72. Are you? Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to go more like 79. EA's been having a rough year. 
I've, I've seen... So, the game's technically out for certain people. Okay. So, I've, I've been seeing a lot of positive things from streamers that Ooh. I know, but that doesn't mean anything. Metacritic, let's see. 78! Wow. Okay. Wait, is that that's just PS4? So, hold on. No, that's NHL 16. You got to make sure you're on the right. Oh, game. I'm sorry. 16. I fucked up. You're you're right. Good call, Aaron. NHL, NHL 21. Oh, 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 it might not have a score. Yet. Oh my god, no score. That's what I said. No. All right. Oh. Well, you know what that means, Aaron. Next week's gonna be a big one, dude. I'm we got the, like four yeah, or five. Games. But right now, I'm the fucking champ. Suck. Only because we averaged things that weren't averaged properly. That sounds like I'm the fucking champ, though. So like. You want to average it properly and see? I won't change it, but I want what, to average it properly. What do you mean average it properly? Before. What's average it properly? Yeah, I need you to go back to Space Crew, but the one that had five reviews. I don't remember what that was. All right. Space Crew Metacritic. Uh, was that PC or Switch? It's the PC. PC. Okay. Oh, oh, all this. All right, we need to do all the scores. Hold on. Oh. Well, that two seventies, right? It would, it would bring it up to fucking. All right, go ahead. Hold on. Shut up. What's wow. the third one? I can't read the third yellow one. Is uh, that 50? 50, yeah. And the bottom one's a 30? I thought we were just going to go by the Metacritic average up there, but okay. I mean, that would be fine if we weren't doing like... Okay, well, now I lost Aaron and he's probably talking, which is why we have this backup audio. All right, Aaron, go ahead. You're moving oh, did now. I, did, I get, did I get muted? My bad. Yeah, you're moving now. I, I covered it for you. Don't you I, said that would, I said that would make sense if we were only doing, like, one system because then it doesn't – because, like, the average of a score averaged with other scores isn't the true average. Okay, fine. We'll play your way. Well, what happens when we get to a game that, like, Cyberpunk is going to have, like, 27,000 okay. reviews? Well, as long as it's even between the two, like, there's 10 reviews on one, 10 reviews on the other, that's fine. So what was our average? What did we have as the average before? Like was, we don't have to change it. It's fine. We can stick with it this time. I'm just the our, oh and so our score. It was um, our score, sixty eight. Yeah. So the actual average, if we averaged all the scores individually, because there's so few of them, would have been a sixty two. I'm still closer. Actually, I mean, yeah, six, yeah, you'll still be closer, but I won't be as high in points either. I said we can keep sixty eight. It's fine. All right. So I'm just all right, we know, know for next that, time then. Yeah. But, I mean, if there's, like, 20-plus reviews or 10-plus reviews we gotta on make both a call. systems. We got to make a call at that point. That's what I'm, Well, at that point, yeah. I say we just average the averages. But we can't average the average of one and then have the other two only have one score because then that just changes right. everything. Noted. We'll do it next time. But I'm the Look chip. being a math person because I'm going to be the math teacher. I'm a fucking go. chip, bitch. For now. I am the champ. Uh, okay, so next week we have a lot. Yeah, we got a lot to go over next week, hopefully. But so. no, that's good. So All yeah, right. we have like there's at least three or four games that'll be ready by next week. I'm the champ. I'm the champ. I'm the champ. Can't wait to take back over. Fucking, I wish I had confetti green screen ready. I can't wait till when I move I and then my fucking green screen wall, so dude. Much. I'm gonna have my green screen wall. It's gonna be fucking lit. I hate you so much. You're going to make some fucking dumb tweet after oh, this. Awesome. Oh, I'm so good. I'm the fucking champion. Yeah, I'm so good at guessing the fucking <laughs> Metacritic scores of yeah, random but games. that's you. Oh, my God. I finally beat Aaron in something the first time ever in my life. Oh, my God. I've been waiting 15 years for this. I wasn't going to, but now that you're fucking making a big deal out of it, <laughs> I'm just going to quote tweet it and fucking I'm going to have the video and everything. You're goddamn I right I did. First time in 15 years. It's a That's goddamn a... miracle. Why did I turn into a fucking redneck? It's a goddamn miracle. Because <laughs> that's how I see you. Yeah, fuck you too. <laughs> you moved to the middle of nowhere. How the fuck am I the, the hick? Uh, because I said so. Oh, okay. You make a good point. And that's there, the sorry. bottom line because Aaron Norman said so. Fuck you, dude. All right. So should I delete these so I don't get like mixed up? I mean, if you want to. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, let's just do it because I'm going to get fucking mixed up. Eh. All right. All right. All right. I think we're good. Okay. We've done everything, That's fine. right? That's everything. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. Peace. We have like Twitter stuff that he's going to fucking say down uh, there. I, I don't I know. He's actually like, is he that way or is he that way? Which way are you on the screen? The other way. That way? Yeah. That, that way. Go, go talk to that way. Go talk. He, he's going to tell you the Twitter stuffs. Uh, and then we're going to piece it. Follow Friend of Me Fire at yeah, Friend of Me Fire on Twitter. Follow 
Console Kev and Aaron on Twitter at Console Kev and Aaron Norman. Uh, follow Console Kev at twitch.tv slash Console Kev and then twitch.tv slash Aaron Norman 93. But he's in fucking stream, so don't worry about that. You're I'm streaming fo- in like an hour. Fuck yeah. off. No, you won't. And then Instagram, Aaron Norman. I don't have a fucking... I'm just saying, if you don't show up in my chat tonight, we're not friends anymore. Okay, so that was the last podcast we'll ever have, guys. Thanks for, uh, <laughs> thanks for hanging out with us, and I will see you later. Peace. Don't forget about the Patreon.